And that's where we start tonight with unemployment problems plaguing Kansas. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brooke Huntington. And I'm Molly Pat. New tonight, Governor Laura Kelly is demanding Congress take action in addressing a major issue with the state's Labor Department. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung joins us live to explain all those details. Rebecca? The state's unemployment office has struggled with payment delays and a high volume of fraud, all pointing back to an outdated computer system. And that's what Governor Kelly is hoping Congress will help fix. Kelly has joined with Pennsylvania and Wisconsin in asking Congress for more money to help fast track an IT modernization project for Kansas and other states that need it. According to a national workforce agency, Kansas is one of 30 states that needs to update their computer system to ensure timely payment of benefits. Right now, the state has about 12,000 people in the backlog for one of their federal unemployment programs. We're asking the feds uh, to provide more uh, so that we can go forward with the modernization. But then we also know you, you know you don't just build these things and then let them go. You've got to maintain an upgrade on uh, a regular basis. The state's already allocated $37.5 million for the project in this year's budget. In her letter, the governor also asks for a permanent source of funding to ensure that states are prepared for future emergencies. And according to the state's unemployment office, this project could take anywhere from three to five years usually, but they're trying to speed that up to help more Kansans. Live at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung. All right, thank you, Rebecca.